Hello and welcome to City Compressor. Thank you for taking the time to visit our city and experience what we can do for you. Let's start off this tour today by giving you a little knowledge of City Compressor. We are one of the world's largest and oldest independent compressor remanufacturing companies. Our core business is remanufacturing industrial and commercial air conditioning compressors. Carrier, Copeland, Train, and York reciprocating units in the 5 to 160 horsepower range make up most of our production volume. Our history goes all the way back to a man by the name of Earl Moreland. The year was 1938 when he recognized the need to provide customers with a quality alternative to OEM compressors. The company took form in 1938 in Detroit, Michigan and relocated to Miami, Florida in 1956. Our current president, Rusty Moreland, has grown up his whole life with compressors in sight and a wrench in his hand. His father instilled his vision and principles in Rusty at an early age and worked side by side with him to teach Rusty the business. Growing up, Rusty has had the privilege of seeing all sides of the compressor industry. He worked in the manufacturing plant learning the specifications of what it takes to build the best compressors. He worked in the office helping customers and taking orders, and he worked for 12 years in the commercial and industrial air conditioning service field. This has given him the ability to understand all angles of the industry. In 1995, Rusty expanded the company's efforts to Charlotte, North Carolina. In the year 2000, City Compressor built a new facility located in the beautiful Twin Lakes Business Park just off I-77 in the Charlotte area. Our current infrastructure allows us to ship 56% of the U.S. population within one day's drive. Our infrastructure is one aspect that has helped etch City Compressor remanufacturers into a global leader among independent compressor remanufacturers. However, our core company values play an even larger part. Customer service, quality, and availability form the backbone of our company. We will touch on quality and availability in a moment, but first, let's briefly look into our customer service. At City Compressor, we view our customers as important members in our team not as means to an end. Here at City Compressor, we strive to meet and exceed the needs of our customers. We accomplish this through open communication, building relationships, equal treatment, and working with our customers to strengthen their business. We believe our customers to be our most important asset. That is why we focus on issues that are important to our customers and consider our sale to not be completed until the customer is totally satisfied. Our customer service may sound good, but our product looks even better. Let's take a look at the process that each of our compressors go through and the intricate details that are inspected to ensure our customers are given only the highest quality compressors. However, before we get started, I think it's important for me to mention something. Recently, we have undertaken the next step in providing our customers with only the best in quality and service. We are proud to announce that City Compressors is in the final stages of completing our ISO 9001 2000 certification. We are dedicated to ensuring that when you buy from City Compressor, you are guaranteed the best. Be careful not to confuse our remanufacturing process with other rebuilding processes because there is a common misconception with remanufactured and rebuilding. When we say remanufactured, we mean that each compressor is completely torn down, measured, inspected, and many new parts and a few requalified parts are then reassembled into the compressor. But that's just the quick version. Let's take a closer look. There are eight steps involved in our remanufacturing process, and each step is crucial to make sure that our customers get the best quality compressors. The first step is classified as disassembly. All compressors are completely torn down to the bare casting. Every part, including the fittings and plugs, are removed from the compressor. A technician then inspects all parts to see if they meet specifications for refurbishment. The parts are scrapped or sent to the next stage in the process. Once a compressor is disassembled and parts inspected, the qualified components enter a multi-stage cleaning process. Small parts are degreased in an ultrasonic cleaning machine, while most aluminum parts are cleaned in a steel media roto finish machine. The cast iron parts are batch loaded into our burn off oven. They are then precision heated to remove all oil and grease. After baking for 5 hours, the parts are then loaded into our golf cleaner. The machine uses two high-speed impellers to throw a soft metal media at the rotating castings. This process results in the compressor and parts being returned to a new finish. The next two stages go hand in hand. They are total component qualification and strategic stocking of components. All parts are inspected and gauged to see if they will fit into the corresponding specifications. The crankcase goes into an area where a quality control inspector bore gauges all cylinders. 
If they are out of spec, it is marked to be bored or honed, oversized, or sleeved and returned to standard size. Also, at this stage, the body is checked to verify the proper size of the bearing bosses. It is also inspected for broken pins, fittings, and stripped threads. The casting is then placed into a high-pressure spray washer to remove any machining oil. It is dipped in a preservative and then stored in our body bank. All of the valve plates are stripped and resurfaced using our Blanchard grinder and are then reassembled using new valve reeds and pins. All of the plugs are removed from the crankshafts. The crank is then polished and if found out of spec is ground undersized. The oil galleys are brushed and flushed with a solvent and a bore scope is inserted into the oil ports to assure that they are clean and free of any grit. The motor department is a totally different process altogether. Due to the fact that very few outside motor shops have either the material or expertise to properly rewind hermetic motors, we maintain our own motor winding department. All motors go through a vigorous winding and testing process to ensure a high quality motor is produced. Right down to the varnish that a finished motor is dipped in is specifically designed for the Freon environment required in a hermetic application. Once a motor is wound, tested, dipped, baked, and then retested, it is placed into our motor inventory. At this stage in our process, all of the requalification and refurbishment has taken place on the compressor and it is time to begin the assembly procedure. First, a crankcase is pulled from our body bank, and a quality control inspector again checks with a bore gauge to verify the specs. The main bearings are then pressed into the crankcase. The crankshaft is installed, and alignment and thrust clearances are verified. At this time, all other internal components are brought together. The compressor is mechanically assembled, but before the bottom plate is installed, a quality control inspector checks clearances and torque of the connecting rods. At this point, the compressor is laid horizontally and the valve plates and motor are installed. Again, a quality control inspector confirms the correct matching valve plates are being installed and the motor air gap is to spec. Before oil is put into the crankcase, the compressor is submerged in water with 150 pounds of nitrogen to verify all gasket surfaces are tight. A final high potential electrical test is performed on the installed motor and oil is metered into the compressor and the finished compressor now goes to the final test stand. Hoses are attached to the body and the electrical leads are hooked to the motor terminals. The compressor is installed on a closed loop system that when running simulates the same pressures it will operate when installed in your unit. Oil pressure is checked in both directions. After a time of operating, the low side of the compressor is pulled into a vacuum and shut down to check for discharge valve or relief valve leakage. All specs and results are recorded for future inquiries. The tested compressor goes into an evacuation station where it is pulled into a deep vacuum and charged with dry nitrogen. A final inspector then checks the motor to verify the voltages corresponding to the name tag. The compressor is then painted with the original manufacturer's matching colors and boxed for shipment or put into inventory for future shipment. This brings us through our manufacturing process and gives you insight into the quality of our compressor and also explains another core company value. The remaining value to discuss is availability. Availability is key to our customers. That is why we allocate so much of our company's resources to ensure an extremely large inventory of finished compressors are in stock. In general, they can all be shipped the same day an order is placed. At any given point, we have 1,200 finished compressors in stock waiting for you, and another 4,000 cores ready to be remanufactured. Through either of our manufacturing facilities, we are able to ship across the U.S. and around the world at a moment's notice. Through the years, City Compressor has been able to master the art of manufacturing compressors and at the same time provide customers with everything to strengthen their business. All of this is available to you and all for a very competitive price. We are very proud of our operation and with some notice would be honored to give you a personal tour of our city. So give us a call and find out today how you can put the power of our city to work for you.